Hello viewers. In this lecture, we will learn how to design a MATLAB code for the approximation of fractional integrals. In my previous lecture, I had discussed with you this research paper wherein the author has proposed two algorithms, one for numerical fractional integration and the other one for numerical Caputo fractional differentiation. So for fractional integ integration, the operator being used by the author is Riemann Liouville fractional integral operator of arbitrary order alpha, where alpha is a positive real number. Let me show you the definition for the Riemann level fractional integral. And the definition is given in equation 1.6. So this is what we call Riemann level fractional integral of order alpha. J alpha is the symbol that we use for fractional integral. And it is defined by this integral given on the right hand side of equation 1.6. Now let me show you the algorithm that has been proposed by the author. So the algorithm is given by equation 2.1 and it is called modified trapezoidal rule. So it helps us to find the numerical value for the fractional integral of a function of one variable. As we know that numerical integration is required in cases when the integrand is quite complicated and its analytical solution is not easy to obtain. And in other situations, the function is totally absent and we are given tabular data. So the numerical integration is needed. There are several methods in classical calculus to perform numerical integration, including trapezoidal rule, Simpson's rules, Weddell's rules, Legendre formulas, Romberg integration, and several other techniques. So here in this exam, in this paper, the author has given modified trapezoidal rule to perform numerical fractional integration. So the main objective of today's lecture is to let you know how we can write this algorithm as a code in MATLAB. I have tried to solve example one in MATLAB. So the example one is given here and the function chosen by the author is sine x. The integration interval is from zero to one while the half integral of sine function is being evaluated. So in the first column, you can see number of steps, h, the step size, approximated value obtained with the modified trapezoidal rule, and in the last column, absolute errors are shown. The absolute errors were possible to compute because the author has shown here the exact fractional integral of order alpha for the function sine x in terms of an infinite series. So if you put x is equal to 1 here, you will see that it re reduces to the first term on the right hand side of equation 2.8. So this is the exact one and if you subtract the trapezoidal, the value obtained with the modified trapezoidal method, you will get the absolute error. So let's go to MATLAB code and now you can see Line number 15, 16, and 17 are the required inputs like step size, lower limit, upper limit, integration interval, number of steps, fractional order, the initial value of the function, and the final value of the function. And then the major algorithm is something that I have highlighted. So if you daily this highlighted code with the modified trapezoidal rule that was given in equation 2.1 of the research paper, you will come to know that they are same. So you have to be a little, little careful regarding the brackets here. 
nothing else uh, has to be taken care of. So after writing these things, I have mentioned the exact solution as it was shown in the research paper. Line number 33, absolute errors are computed and line number 36, the required terms are being comp computed like KH approximated value along with the absolute error. So let's run this code. And now I will see the results on the command window and these results, if you compare with the results given in table 2.1, the first row is exactly same as it was shown on the command window of MATLAB. Now, if you change the step size, you will get the values as they are shown in the research paper. So now you can perform such experiments. You can change the step size. You can change the order, the fractional order. You can change the function as well. You can change the integration limit and then um, in short, you can play with the code to get the approximate value for the Raman level fractional integral of a function. So that's it. This is all about the MATLAB code for modified trapezoidal rule that was given by equation 2.1 in this research paper. Finally, I would request you to like, share and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching the lecture.